It's time to review the bad guy. Hey guys, me host Super Sarah. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today is the turn of WWE legend Scott Hall. This is from the WCW Monday Night Wars Elite Series from Mattel. And I'm really excited to crack this one open, guys. I've been collecting these now. I've got all four of them. As you know, I bought them as a set. And uh, I'm looking forward to building the Lex Luger builder figure on this one. We've got one piece so far. I've done one review, which was Stone Cold. Today I'm moving on to uh, Scott Hall. We've still got Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Undertaker to go. So stay tuned for those to, for reviews as well. If you haven't seen my review of Stone Cold Steve Austin, I'll link it at the end of this video. Please go check it out. Right, guys, let's jump in and open Scott Hall. Because he's the bad guy. <laughs> I'll never forget that moment on WCW. I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep telling stories uh, throughout this series. As you guys know, I'm a big WCW fan. Uh, that's where I watch my wrestling. And I remember this exact moment. I remember the moment that Scott Hall wore the denim and Kevin Nash was with him. And originally they came in as the outsiders. And um, they came in as if they were still with WWE. That's the angle they played. It was very clever of Bischoff to put that together. And basically, uh, they pretended to be still as, you know, Diesel and Razor Ramon. But they obviously couldn't use those names because WWE would sue them. So they came into the middle of the ring and Scott Hall had the microphone. And he basically did the whole, you know who we are. You know, and they did that famous speech. And basically admitting, you know, they're saying that they were here to, you know, WCW to cause mayhem. And it was awesome because they basically took over. It was the start of NWO. But without calling it that, they didn't officially become NWO, I believe, until Hollywood Hulk Hogan joined them. But, I mean, that was the big thing as well. You know, Hulk Hogan joining WCW was a massive deal. And he came in in his traditional, uh, you know, as, as the good guy. And then he did the big flip. And became, you know, uh, became the, 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 the bad guy with, the, with, Ray, with, um, with Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. And I do hope they give us a Kevin Nash in this series. Because it, it would, you know, this series is too awesome not to quite, like, complete the line. Of course, these have already given us two members of NWO. We kind of need the last one now. I did see, by the way, a uh, on Amazon that they were selling the WWE, the WWE Elite, WWE Elite um, Diamond Dallas page. But I think it's meant to be more of a modern Diamond Dallas. I'm, I'm hoping they're going to re-release most, like most figures, like or at least most, yeah, most WWE wrestlers anyway. In some form of like Monday Night Wars packaging or WCW packaging. Because I would love a whole shelf full of 90s era wrestlers. That's what I'm kind of hoping to go for. Right guys, with that, I have Razor Ramon out of the packaging. He's on the desk cam ready to go. He's got his mic in hand and he's ready to talk. So let's jump down to the desk cam where you guys can get an up close personal look at Razor Ramon. All right, guys, here he is out of the packaging. We've got a spare head and some hands over here as well. We've got the Builder Figure arms and we got the uh, nice cloth costume for the Builder Figure as well, just off camera over here. And we got the main bad guy himself. That face sculpt is nice for this one. It's a nice smiling face sculpt. I like that. Uh, it's the, he's got all the classic denims going on. Denim on denim. <laughs> that was the 90s. The 90s way was denim on denim. <laughs> My God, I feel old. <laughs> but looking at articulation and stuff, it does look like pretty standard stuff for the WWE stuff that I've noticed. It's all pretty much the same, which is heads on a ball joint, although that head pops off way too easy. But yeah, the head's on a ball joint, so you can't really make him look up because of the hairline. You can look down a little bit. There's a little bit of head pilt. Uh, tilting there. Arms lift up at the side hinge and also rotate with rotation of the bicep. Double hinged elbows which wrap all the way around which is nice. Ugh. Then we have the abdomen crunch there which crunches around and a waist swivel. Legs do lift out all the way as well as forwards backwards with a top thigh cut, double hinged knee and a boot cut with feet on rocker and pivot as well. 
Yep. And um, we have display peg holes. Should you wish to use a display base, but I've not really had any trouble standing him. This one foot has caused me a bit of issue, but I think it's just because I need to warm up the peg. I don't want to snap the peg. So I might just need to give that one a little bit more wiggle room and give it a bit more of a play to loosen it up a little bit more. Do these have the... No, these don't have side to side. These just have back and forward motion. I've just noticed. Yeah, these don't actually have the... These don't actually have the uh, the wiggle pegs. Oh, yes, they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. I keep thinking it's because of, it's because of that wiggle, the wiggle at the boot. So this one's jammed, and I don't want to break it. I might need to go off camera and warm it up. Oh, no, it's going. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Yeah. There we go. Starting to warm up. It'll warm up more the more we're messing about with it on camera anyway. Well, that's awesome. No, the figure's nice. I'm liking it. Let's have a look at that secondary face sculpt. This, this head, like I say, it pops off so easily. The other head has got the hair in a ponytail. Again, there's no... This whole wave, I've noticed, the heads don't pop off, like, click on. Like, normally, they would just pop. They would pop. They just kind of sit on. Mm, they are on. I mean, you could play around with that, and that's not going to come off. It's only if I... Bend it back a little bit and give it a gentle tug, you know what I mean? I mean, if kids weren't, you know, if, if you were buying these for your kids, which I, I don't think you would because they're Elite Series, but if they, if you were buying them for your kids, that, that could be, that could have issues. Also, should the WWE sign on the microphone have white on it or something? That just seems very weird having black on black with the etching, but no colouring on there. Is that meant to be like that? But either way, I do like, I, I love the fact that I've now got Scott Hall in my collection and it does come with some different hands we have the big open palm hands which is nice and we also have some fisty cuffed hands which is nice he's got two grab hands on at the moment which i'm going to leave for now but um yeah you can change the hands around as well on this one i do think i prefer this version of the face sculpt i mean the other one's nice uh but i mean that's like i like that look hey yo <laughs> hey yo and let's not forget, we get to build a little bit more of our builder fig this time around. So we've got some arms to pop in now. So we've popped those arm in. Let's get the other arm in. Nice. So we're halfway there. We're halfway to having a Lex Luger. Nice. And we've got the big puffy white shirt to put on him as well at a later date. So stay tuned for the big puffy white shirt. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. The reveal is almost among us. I'm excited. Stay tuned. I've got. I'm gonna. I'll keep reviewing these over the coming days. Like I say, we've still got two to go, including Undertaker and Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Stone Cold's already on my shelf, and Scott Hall's about to go join him. But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I can't wait for this guy to go join uh, the rest of the WWE figures on my shelf. And like I say, we are one step closer to having Lex Luger in the collection. Sorry, uh, for having... Uh, yeah, Lex Luger in the collection. So stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye!